October 30th, faith. Without faith, it is impossible to please him. Hebrews 11.6 Faith. Faith in active opposition to common sense is mistaken. Enthusiasm and narrow-mindedness and common sense in opposition to faith demonstrates a mistaken reliance on reason as the basis for truth. The life of faith brings the two of these into the proper relationship. Common sense and faith are as different from each other as the natural life is from the spiritual and as impulsiveness is from inspiration. Nothing that Jesus Christ ever said is common sense, but is revelation sense and is complete, whereas common sense falls short. Yet faith must be tested and tried before it becomes real in your life. We know that all things work together for good, Romans 8.28, so that no matter what happens, the transforming power of God's providence transforms perfect faith into reality. Faith always works in a personal way because the purpose of God is to see that perfect faith is made real in his children. For every detail of common sense in life, there is a truth God has revealed by which we can prove in our practical experience what we believe God to be. Faith is a tremendously active principle that always puts Jesus Christ first. The life of faith says, Lord, you have said it. It appears to be irrational, but I'm going to step out boldly, trusting in your word. For example, see Matthew 6.33. Turning intellectual faith into our personal possession is always a fight, not just sometimes. God brings us into particular circumstances to educate our faith because the nature of faith is to make the object of our faith very real to us. Until we know Jesus, God is merely a concept and we can't have faith in him. But once we hear Jesus say, He who has seen me has seen the Father, John fourteen nine, we immediately have something that is real and our faith is limitless. Faith is the entire person in the right relationship with God through the power of the Spirit of Jesus Christ. Faith by Oswald Chambers, my utmost for his highest.